Sharecropper, Oil on Masonite, 1937, Jerry Bywaters. In this painting, I see a sharecropper in front of his crops with a barren background. There are grasshoppers on the crop. The expression on the subject's face looks depressed and angry and tired. Since grasshoppers eat and destroy crops, I imagine this was a hard time for the subject. The sky is neutral color, reflecting the colors of the house and background fields suggesting this might be during a drought or further making the mood depressed. This painting might be the artist's way of giving a voice to the farmers during the Great Depression when crop prices went down significantly. During that time, people were already struggling, but the farm industry was particularly hit hard. The artwork makes me feel compassion for the farmers that worked so hard and struggled during the Great Depression. I also feel grateful for everything I have today and all the technology we have that gives us tools and options to connect to people and reach out for help when we need it. The artist's use of browns and greens and neutrals gives the subject and his home a barren and solitary look like the farmer's life was hard working and full of suffering. The wrinkles on the subject's clothes are similar to the lines on the crops. And the artist uses the rule of thirds. There are good values and varieties, especially the black hat that stands out on the point of focus. The artist uses expressionism by giving the man a solemn look on his face. The painting is very harmonious also with lines on the subject's clothes and the crops that are similar and the use of repeated grasshoppers on the leaves of the crops. There are also diagonal lines that point to the point of focus leading the eye up to the man's face. The artist also uses vertical placement where the objects in the foreground appear bigger than the objects in the background. There are also pyramid shapes that are repeated in the painting.